Welcome to the introduction of iDump Classic Pro version 2013. When you first start the application you will be presented with a language menu so select the appropriate language. When the application runs it will check for all the USB connections for uh, iPod devices. As you see here we have an iPod touch and a mini second VIN. I'll just give you a quick overview of the layout here. On the left hand side the device panel contains a list of all the iPod devices which this software is compatible to perform a read with uh, which currently is uh, all iPods including uh, iTouch and iPhone. On the right hand panel will contain a list of writable devices that this software is compatible with. Currently it's not supporting writing to iPhone or iTouch but that list will be presented here of available writable devices. Please check our website escsoft.com for a full um, compatibility list. We have at the top here file menu, action. This option will be available once you uh, check items in the left hand panel to copy. Search for media devices allows you to rescan the USB uh, bus for attached devices and it will reload the list. It should automatically do this, um, detect and refresh but if for some reason it doesn't then you can use this option. Copy mode is currently set by default to buffer. This uh, allows it to control the copying of data from the source to the destination using a, uh, a, a buffer method which allows us to display a progress bar. The other option is full which will um, allow the operating system to perform the copy and not the application. Um, we don't get a, a progress bar with this but this option is available because sometimes if you have a, a, a problem with a USB device not connecting properly it may work better in full copy mode rather than buffer mode. Under languages you can switch to uh, one of the available languages. On the help menu you can get video help, go to our support page or about box for version number. By default uh, debug mode is on and what that does will create in your My Documents folder it will create the um, basically a text file which provides initial information on what it's connecting to and it will report any um, internal uh, failures um, which it detects so um, if for some reason it's not behaving properly if you can email us this uh, log, well depending on which product you have, um, you can email us the appropriate log and we'll be able to um, hopefully diagnose the problem a lot faster. So, apart from um, the destination device panel which will allow you to copy music from your source to your destination iPod or if you have the source and destination iPod the same you can copy these tracks into a different playlist on the destination and the next video will um, explain uh, how this is done. Under the iTunes tab we've got the option here to um, select a playlist and you copy tracks to, those pl to the uh, playlist that you've selected you can set conversion to any of these formats so that if it's for example in AAC you can select during the copy process to convert it to MP3 um, we'll cover another video in performing um, copies as this is just an introduction video and again the option for copying to PC so you can select your tracks and copy and perform a conversion. 
to a multitude of audio formats when you're copying to the PC and again there'll be another video to explain this in more detail so this is the end of the first introduction to iDump Classic Pro and we'll go into more detail in further videos.